A national political action committee investing big bucks in the outcome of local school board elections. Tonight, some people in Paulding, Cherokee and Coweta counties are wondering why, since usually PACs are tied to more influential state and federal races. Our Caitlin Ross is looking into it for you. Sheba, people around here have started getting these flyers from the 1776 committee endorsing local school board candidates. But this is bigger than just Metro Atlanta. A mom in Houston, Texas says she got the exact same mailer there. The Political Action Committee is sending out these flyers which rail against critical race theory, transgender education and obscene books in schools. Four local candidates for the Coweta County School Board got their endorsement. We tried to reach them, but none responded to our questions. Parents who live in the Coweta County School District say they're concerned about the outside influence of a national PAC for an unpaid volunteer school board position. The flyers are not there to convince people of anything that they don't already believe. I think the flyers are there to activate people who already believe these things and simply let them know there's an outlet. They can go and have an election. All politics is local, to quote Tip O'Neill. And so national PACs come in and, uh, you know, especially in a place like Atlanta in those outlying counties, which are you know, essentially purple counties, um, they can push, you know, a, a blue county red. Political analyst Dr. Matthew Schmidt says these type of tactics are meant to either scare people into voting or make the election so ugly people just stay home altogether and don't vote. We tried reaching out to the PAC too, but never got a call back.